from me to you, from the desert to America, and everywhere else, Happy Thanksgiving. Um, today, I got a lot of cooks going on, man. Matter of fact, let me show you something. Wings by the pound. I got two, two sets of wings. Look, I got stuff in the refrigerator. I got another set of wings. And I got a turkey to cook, y'all. Turkey. This is a 10.9 uh, I guess. I'm a 11 pound turkey to cook. And uh, I'm gonna do it simple. It's not gonna go on for another seven, eight hours. I'm gonna use my uh, Tony Sanchez because that's the only thing I got over here. I mean, I could have brand it and all that, but I'm being lazy. Right? They get the, the, the half of uh, uh, Mr. V today, y'all. So I'm gonna cut this over. I'm just gonna show y'all how to inject the turkey. For those of y'all who uh, have never injected the turkey, this can be for the house or whatever, but I'm gonna show you how to inject the turkey proper way and then uh, I'm going to season it with one of my million seasonings I, I have. Let it marinate for about seven or eight hours and we're going to put this up on the grill for smoking today on the Kamado. So stay tuned. I'll be back in a little bit, y'all. Alright, y'all. We're back. I got my uh, handy injector right here. Come with the kit. For those that don't know for this uh, Tony Sandra, I kind of like a different one. I wish I had a... I don't have another one to show you. But uh, you use a couple of seasoning, so you can use your own seasoning. But me, uh, for this right here, and most of the time I do this because I'm frying a turkey, but uh, I got a special request to smoke a turkey, and I wish that that's what I'm going to do. I wish I did this because I cooked two of them for my job about um, three days ago, and I wasn't doing the video, but I was being lazy, so my bad. I should have did it and just posted just that way y'all can see what I was doing before Thanksgiving. But I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I will show you this one and how I'm injecting this one. Uh, I'm not going to show you my secret seasoning just because it's my secret seasoning. But uh, yeah, you got, like I said, this is a 11 pound uh, turkey. And you got the famous uh, bone. <laughs> anyway, right, so I'm going to bring this camera up so y'all can see. Cut my neck off and all that good type of stuff. And then uh, I'm going to show y'all just. Simple injections of how you inject it, so you can uh, pump this burger up, uh, pull it in the juice, and then uh, we're gonna let it sit. Like I said, I'm gonna season it up real good, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit for about seven, eight hours. So give me a second, y'all. Give y'all that hotel music. Bam, 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 there we go. All right, up and close and personal. One thing I'm gonna tell you I hate about this doggone bottle is this crazy neck on it, this design, right? Because once you get down to the bottom, it's hard for you to try to get the bottom uh, uh, remnants out or, or the, the what's left over. Uh, I don't know, this is me talking, just because I can. I am who I am. So, all right. This is simple, right? When you inject, wherever you inject, and you, you uh, once you penetrate the skin, and you, you inject, you'll see the bird start to swell up. But don't fill it all the way up. This is how you minimize the hole, right? So you pull your needle back, and you go into another spot. That way for your leg, you, uh, you only have one hole in there. Instead of you have a thousand holes all over the, the uh, your bird, and you can do this with chickens too, man. Cornish hens, whatever the case may be. Let me turn this around so we can get up in this uh, this good meat. Like I said, inject about halfway, pull it, and go to a different direction. This is how you get an evenly injected bird. Really only takes you about maybe 10 to 15 minutes to do this. Um, if you're doing it right, like I said, see how I plump that up? Instead of me just inju uh, uh, infusing, hey, my bad, infusing, like that word, infusing the bird in one spot, I'm uh, 
spread it all over so that, like I should, whoever gets a piece of this bird right here is going to be on point. Real simple. Inject. Pull it out. Go a different way. And go from there. Think y'all get the gist? I'm gonna hit these uh, wings up. I'm gonna flip the bird over too. And uh, we're gonna go from there. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Let me show y'all this one wing, like I said. Fill these wings up, we'll come back and touch them up one more time. So I'm, I'm minimizing the amount of holes I, I just poke in the bird. Because what happens is, once you put it on the grill, or you fry it, all your juices start to run out because all your juices start to run out because uh, you got so many holes in there. So another thing is, another fun fact for the day, another fun The first fun fact for the day is don't once you, yeah, don't 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 put so many holes in, in your in, in your in your meat. So like if you got it on the grill, especially if you smoking something, you got it on the grill, don't go poking it like with uh like with this 10th grade. Right here, this little cheap one I got I'm using over here. Don't just go poking it. Once you got an idea of the time, unless you got the one that uh you can use and you know set it up, forget it, where you uh set the time on it and you, you got a a wireless uh gauge that tells you, hey, this is uh, what the tip is throughout the entire cook, then just just read the instructions, man. Follow the directions of whoever you're using. Again, you on my channel and or using somebody else's, um, by all means, take advantage of what the person tells you. I would assume that they are a resident expert in that particular field and just trust the process. I <laughs> trust the process. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna watch some football later on. It's about eight hour time change, so eight hours is uh, the difference now. And then uh, we're just gonna go from there. So I'm gonna get this done. So I can chill. Uh, I got the grill lit up upstairs. I'm gonna show y'all, am I gonna show y'all? Yeah, I might show y'all the wings too, just give y'all an a, a, a extra peek. And uh, what else I got going on? So y'all want to be nosy? I'm gonna show you that. So I'm gonna flip this bird over, hit the back, and we're gonna be done, y'all. Put my little famous seasoning on there. I'm gonna put something on this. Uh, this is my my meat. <laughs> uh, but y'all, uh, so uh, there we have it. We'll be back in a little bit, y'all. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Mr. B. I'm back. I got my turkey right here. I'm about to go ahead and throw it on the grill. Uh, my temperature is about 300. As soon as I put this big bird on now, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, it's going to drop down to about 250. Yeah. See how much room I got on this Kamado? So if you think about getting one, man, I'm telling you the truth. If you want to save your dollar? It ain't worth buying a green egg, man. Um, and, and don't let nobody else tell you that. Trust me. Um, they do the same thing. Uh, my partner has one, and they pretty much side by side to do the same thing. So keep that in mind. We're going to come back in about two hours and see what this thing doing. You want your meat to be about 165 degrees, right? In the breast and in the leg, about 180, 85. So 180 to 185. Um, so we're going to check that later on, about two hours, see what it's looking like. Look at the color, at, color of it, make sure it's uh, looking good. And then we're going to go from there, y'all. We'll be back. Hey, what's up, everybody? This your boy, man. We back, man. I done got dressed, you know what I'm saying? Went to the gym, came back, you know what I'm saying? Took a shower and all that. I'm good. Kind of chilly out here. Um, we're going to check this tip on this turkey. See what it's looking like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Hold on. Let me give you a close-up. Oh, my baby. Mm-hmm. That was smoked turkey on a Kamado look like. Let me give y'all all the angles. That golden, golden brown. I'm, I'm about to tell you, if, if it wasn't mine, if it was mine, I would, yeah, I'd be eating the thing right now. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take it off. We're going to go downstairs and we're going to talk it up for a minute. We're going to see you on your way, y'all. All right, we're back, y'all, man. I just want to thank y'all uh, from the bottom of my heart, right? From way out in the desert out here. Happy Thanksgiving. I know it's early. I'm going to do this video, uh, do 
all the little editing and stuff like that. Sending it out to y'all uh, so y'all can see it uh, today. I wish I could have got it out earlier. Um, sorry, that's on me. I apologize. Don't hold me. Hold it to me. I'll get you back next Thanksgiving. But anyway, I'm going to send y'all on your way, man. Like I said, happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm going to miss Christmas, too. But uh, I'll be back in January. So, yeah, the videos will still be coming uh, uh, in January. So, hold me to that, y'all. Uh, like I said, what I'm going to do, last fun fact, I'll give you three today, man. I'm cheap, man. So, I should start selling these. But, no, so, we put my little foil over there. This, this is how you keep a uh, keep it moist. Right? So all you do is you, you, you're going to put your aluminum foil on. I'm not going to show you how to put aluminum foil on a, on a turkey, but as I talk, I'm doing it. But the key is to, uh, you want your turkey to sweat. That's how, that's what's going to keep it moist. It's already injected. As long as you didn't dry it out on the grill, and it's a smoker, so chances are, it's not even probably super moist. Uh, the skin is crunchy because I left it on a little longer. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up and put it in the oven. Right. If you spritz it, I highly recommend you spritz it for the novice. That means the beginners that don't know what they're doing or they're trying it for the first time. Just because it'll keep it keep the outside from drying out too. Uh, and as we all know, turkey will dry out on your ass uh, uh, if you don't watch it. So that's another reason to inject it or brine it. Um, but I wasn't brining this one. So all I'm going to do, like I said, you don't have to turn the oven on. Don't put it in the oven that's already on. I had to, you know what I'm saying? It's already been hot. Um, just for the simple fact, you will dry the meat. So this one, I'm just going to stick it in my oven and let it sit for about 45 minutes. That's going to keep the meat. Because, you know, once you take it out the grill, it's still cooking. So remember that. Like, so if you got an uh, oven that's already been hot because you've been cooking cakes, um, whatever, pies, whatever the case may be, um, dressing, and then you put this in there, it's still hot, it's still cooking, then you're going to put it in an oven that's already warm, so it's going to continue to cook even longer. Or prolong the cooling off period, right? So, like I said, and last fun fact. If you're taking your turkey off and you're ready to serve it, or you're trying to time it perfectly, let your turkey rest for 15 to 20 minutes, right? So the juices, what'll happen is, you ever seen boiling water? Like, once it gets to uh, boil, for those that don't know, water boils at 212 degrees, right? So at that point, just like a turkey, the juices in there, once you get it hot, the juices start moving around inside the turkey, right? So we didn't already injected this one so that that Creole butter, I don't have a bottle with it, but the Creole butter, uh, as it starts to bubble, it starts to move around, the juices inside the turkey, the moisture, the water stuff starts to come out, it starts to move around, right? So when you cool it off, it starts to go back and then the juices start to soak back into the meat. Like hot water, right? When you put it on your skin, your pores open up. Same thing with a chicken, pores open up, everything starts to come out. Right? Well, as it cools off, the, the pores close, you want your juice to stay in there. So when you bite into it, you can taste what you inject it with. Last fun fact. That's four for the day, y'all. But anyway, I'm going to see you on your way. God bless. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. See y'all next Thanksgiving. Nah, I'm kidding. I'll see y'all in the next video, y'all. Uh, I salute. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Hey, comment below. Send me pictures. I want to see what y'all eat, man, since I ain't home. Show me. Make me feel good. Because I'm out here by myself. Well, I'm out here by myself. But I'm going to go house hopping eat up everybody else's food, and then that's how we do it. Anyway, like I said, God bless. I'll see y'all later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, and holla at your boy.